Dear viewers, please join me in welcoming Rekha Rao, professor, political analyst, commentator, economic expert, news panelist, mountaineer, NGO advisor, entrepreneur, social activist, social worker, and army officer's wife. Did I miss anything? Uh, recently, one more feather in the cap, uh, translator from Hindi to English, live I do it. Your journey started from Jharkhand and currently you are in Hyderabad. We are very much interested in knowing your complete journey. Basically, we are from Telangana or Andhra, we can say Telugu speaking. But my parents, they settled in uh, Jamshedpur. At that time, it was Bihar. Now it became Jharkhand. They were working over there. And after dad's retirement and all, we are back to our Telangana. And before that also, in the college, I was into NCC. So I was going lots into NCC camps, half Half of the nation have gone and then getting married to an army officer. Every two years I was roaming. Pack your bag, pack your trunks and remote places where a normal citizen cannot go. I had the privilege of going. Wonderful. Yeah, so meeting people, understanding their psychology. And one thing I have seen, the psychology of a teenager or a student, it is same everywhere. Mm -hmm. Not only that, the psychology of, we talk about generation gap. Mm -hmm. 50 years back or 60 years back, a youngster, they had a dream. They had an ambition, they worked for it. Same psychology is now. Only the route what they take is a little different. At that time, they believed in hard work, sincerity, and now it is early and easy money. That is it. Otherwise, the aim is... What are your observations about the people living in northern India and the people living in southern states, particularly the younger generation? In South, people are very much money-minded, mm -hmm. especially I taught in North colleges in North and South. So there they are more into fun, musty and getting grades and all. In South, obviously, they believe in marks and all. But they say, ma'am, karor kamana hai, kaisa kamai? And that is the reason I'm using the word easy and early money. <laughs> you mentioned that already. And you know why? I feel it is the politicians, they take the politicians as the role models. Yeah. And now because of media, television, the lifestyle of these biggies is so close to them okay. that they cannot wait the youngsters they want that lifestyle immediately big big cars and big big mansions right. as far as i observed you have always been keeping yourself busy what are you working on nowadays right now i'm opening my own ngo all these years i did not have then people said ma'am just start an ngo instead of you helping so the tagline of my ngo is empowering communities transcending borders so we are going to help anyone, everyone who is in need, not restricted to any one community or gender. Generally, we have sayings like save girl child, only for women. Mm -hmm. One day, if this trend continues, a day will come when we have to save the men or the boys, you know, <laughs> the tagline is going to change. I said, no, there should be nothing like that. Anyone in need, animal, human being, bird, no. save them, help them, that's it. Your NGO Sankalapam is in pipeline. The tagline is unique and also we would love to know about the people who are supporting you. Sankalpam, that is willpower and determination. For everything you need that willpower and determination. And it is all women group. All of us, we are into education. And there I have taken one lady who is a domestic health. I believe in social equality. So it is not only high profile people. I have taken women who are principals, teachers, accountants plus a lady who is a domestic help and now i would like to bring her into the society and tell them why only when you have an ngo when you have the executive members why only like-minded people why not pull someone from the lower strata of mm. the society mm -hmm. and bring them up right and imagine when right. we are going to launch a sincere politician a wonderful and she would also be joining us it is going to be a dream come true and again, uh, on Women's Day, in one of the school, like I'm the director and principal of Meridian School, Opal, right. and one channel came and we were having debates and discussions. Then I told this lady, come and you express yourself. And so beautifully she spoke. Uh, she got married when she was 12 or 13 year old. Then she said, I too wanted to study, go to college, but we did not have the money. And my dream, I'm saying in my daughter. Yeah, so though she was an ayah in that school, I said, no, give her a chance. Let the society listen to her. Who will give her a chance, right? Absolutely. Yeah, she hesitated, but again, there were tears in all of us, you know, the way she spoke. 
In 2020, during the COVID-related lockdown, you were featured in all newspapers. You were the talk of Telangana and newspapers. We would love to know more about it. When Corona was going on, there was a big issue of migrants. They were traveling, no food, there were no jobs, and there were no jobs because people, the employees, they were not able to give. So lots of NGOs, they jumped in for 10 days, 15 days, for 20 days, they were providing lunch, dinner. I was in a worry. What once the sponsors stop sponsoring when they were, and when the funds exhaust? So meanwhile, that's what I expected, same thing started happening. For 10 days, 15 days, they were, people were distributing food packets and food, but a stage came when people, they started coming to me, they said, ma'am, we are running short of funds. Uh, funds, what do we do? Before they could go, I was just thinking, kya kare? some sustainable corona, we never knew how long it is going to be, how long we have to feed the people. 20 days is not the solution, it has to sustain for at least six, seven months. Meanwhile, people, they started sending, ma'am, here, people are in trouble, here, people are in trouble. Then I said, okay, you send me their phone numbers, their names, the location. So people they started sending them. Then I started tweeting it to Rajkonda police, mm -hmm. cops. And for everything, I approached Rajkonda because they are the only people they know. And our Mahesh Bhagat sir, the commissioner, he responds and his team immediately, within seconds, you know. Yeah, and then I would post all those things and immediately things would go. And more than seven to 800 families I have helped by this. And um, not only this, like one fine day I got a call around 9, 10, 10, 30, 11. It was from former minister and current MLA of Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. So language problem was there. They said something. I knew with few words that 51 p sculptors were stuck up in Yadgiri where the temple construction is going on. Then somehow I could get the information. Then uh, in Tamil, they sent some documents and all, which I couldn't read because that's not my this thing. Then I tweeted and immediately Rajkonda, they, they reacted. Night itself, they went, they gave ration to all 51 of them, then 500 rupees. And then they said, ma'am, this is what it is done. The police over there, they sent me the photographs. And uh, after 20 days, I was able to arrange, they went to, Tamil Nadu now have got a beautiful relation with Tamil Nadu. Yeah, I mean, it was a dream come true. I never expected a minister from there instead of connecting to the ministers, contacting a normal person like me, you know. It's a dream come true. It's amazing. You know what, like, we have so much of technology. We should always think about uh, immediate health. Absolutely fine. We have to. But again, when the things are out of our control, what next? We need the government officials to come, the police to come. And even at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, I would tweet and I would get messages from uh, collectors, IS officers, ma'am, we are doing it immediately. And not only they did it, they would respond with a photograph, this work is done. And then I understood, yes, our Tel Telangana government is doing a great job. The machinery, 24 by 7, they are available. The only thing what people do is that they keep on criticizing, kaam nahi ho rahe. But until and unless you communicate, how are they going to know? The, the first problem started in GD Metla. Mm -hmm. There are around 70 migrants, basically from Bihar and Bengal, they got stuck up. Mm -hmm. And from there, I was working over there as a principal for four to five years. So the locals, the people, they know me. So one of my teacher, uh, she said, ma'am, this is a trouble. What do we do? I said, immediately just get me some phone numbers and the people. So they have sent me some numbers, immediately I tweeted, and you believe it or not, the very next day, ready-made lunch and dinner at the doorstep. Wow, that's brilliant. Instead of giving ration, it is better to give them pre-packed food because gas is also expensive. Yeah, how, from where do you get the fuel? Whether they are using kerosene or coal, whatever it is. Yeah, it is expensive. You are having wonderful, delicious packet, the work is done. How has been the response of the people who came forward further to help you? See, like NGOs and all, how long can they do it? Mm -hmm. Until and unless it is a huge organization. Otherwise, normal NGOs where the women or some youngsters, they run the show. Right. Not more than 15, 20 days, they can say. Well. And again, there were some bastis who need to have the ration and all. So I contacted some NGOs who were already distributing. So they came and they distributed in that. Since you are into social work and services, a lot of people open-heartedly are ready to donate in religious places. But... Why are they hesitant to donate to NGOs? If you gave me some amount, what is the guarantee I am going to spend for the right cause? 
until and unless you trust no once you give it to the temple aapke sir se bojha utar gaya that is attitude otherwise monitoring is very difficult right once you know yes this person is doing the right job funds come to you but otherwise it is people they take it as a duty not as a responsibility i give this amount forget it hath dholo no after donating one has to monitor but again people are so busy is do they have the time to monitor is it required no so renowned temples where people are sure that the right job is going on they do that and if the money or the funds they go to the right hand it's absolutely fine no need to monitor they deposit funds to the ministers funds this mm-hmm. funds later that we don't have the account where the money going right. in corona so many people <coughs> deposited some lakhs and crores into government organizations right. we don't have the count for that yeah. yeah that's what yeah Correct. apart from sonu sood yeah, we know nothing yeah now that we are talking about sonu sood how do you see his work in covid-19 related lockdowns he is a person whom i would like to say namaste he is a god we need at least 50 to 20 sonu soods we have the nation is going to be really and and you are one of them and people you assisted will not hesitate calling you lady sonu sood at least from telangana in fact i am blessed you know the people they identified it i still remember the caption when i like telugu i cannot read right though i can speak telugu so early in the morning people they started calling rekha you are in the newspaper i said kaun sa newspaper they said telangana something which i don't even remember then i went i called up my newspaper guy i said just open all the telugu papers jahan pe mera photo hai la ke de do 10 copy <laughs> so one was that uh, army assignment she herself is the army that was a tag big picture then my friends generally whenever i am in newspaper they mm-hmm. just send me the voice message and it was the heart touching i said oh my god i never expected and whenever i do i never have anything i don't expect anything Correct. and corona time you don't have any time to expect something Correct. right yeah so the people are dying it was more like a partition the scenario right. of 1947 right. same thing was recreated the migrants going and uh, migrants i'm very close to them because most of them are from bihar bengal or i have seen their life over there and being in army when i was posted in leh ladakh harsh conditions mm-hmm. people from bihar were working over there you know so anywhere the poverty is so much in bihar it is heart touching and that is how the journey started you being a guest of honor and sharing the dice with chief guest bandaro datareya the honorable governor of himachal pradesh how did it feel and how did it happen like uh, here we have a school shloka international school couple of times they invited me as a chief guest for uh, school annual day right. and just before corona they invited governor himachal pradesh as a chief guest and i was a guest of honor and i never thought one day i would be sharing the dais with such a big chair right. after that yes i started sharing the before that i was sharing the uh, chair with the minister maladi sir mm-hmm. uh, at the time he was mp and he is having lots of schools and colleges he is icon of uh, andhra and telangana and with governor yes and then of course who all are there you have shared the stage with almost yeah. all central ministers i shared the dais i was i got an opportunity right even with uh, nirmala sitaraman at that time she was the defense minister okay. yes yeah. and many of them here and in telangana with almost all the ministers well you speak english beautifully people get spellbound even if a lot of people don't understand it how do you do that and what's the secret of your communication skills here i think sometimes people are just blessed or gifted and i never knew my voice was so different or something i still remember in army we have lots of activities and all so one fine day we were having something called ladies meet which is very common in army so the lady who was supposed to call out the tambola numbers she fell ill and she could not come so the senior of army officers lady she said rekha come on you call the numbers i said what <laughs> what what was tambola what is tambola don't even know you know and then she said you pick up one and just call the number <laughs> and that is what i was doing and cup by the time couple of tambola games i have attended so they would attach some tag to one one number i right. s- then i did that and they said you have got amazing voice then for any tambola game i was called to host that Love. and then anchor slowly i got into anchoring it all nice. before that i was into radio mm-hmm. rj uh, during my college days but this bigger platform and now doing for telangana government like 15th august telangana formation day it is a dream come true addressing when the chief ministers are there governors 
uh, vice presidents it makes. Amazing. I still remember like uh, the most historically important one is centenary celebration of high court building. And there like uh, just two hours before the program we had a lot of uh, Andi, Tufan, everything. And then everything subsided, we had people and all, and it was so noisy and the chief guest was late, it, the crowd was little uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. And at last he came and he sat and all, then I said, Namaste, Jule, Salam, Alaikum, and suddenly there was been raw silence, you know. And then it started in a wonderful way. I would really appreciate if you could present it for our viewers the same way you presented it. Okay. Namaskar, Jule, Salam, Alaikum, Sister Khal, everyone, good morning. This is Rekha Rao. Wow, that's amazing. And same style I use for my Golconda or any program. The other day I came to know that you have done a voiceover for a movie. We would love to know more about it. Yes, uh, there's something uh, very interesting I would like to mention. One night around 12, 12.30 I got a call. Uh, they said just check your WhatsApp. One sentence is there, three variations. I said night 12 baje, next day school, college. Hai. Then I saw, they said one sentence was there. And they said Roboka voice they want or something like okay. machine. Then I went night with AC and all your throat is generally this thing. I had a cup of coffee. Then three variations I have sent. Forgot. And Saho movie. I did not even know that was for Saho movie, right? So the movie came, it went. Then after six months, someone sent, This is your voice for the Saho movie. I said, Oh my God, you should have told me before. No doubt you have been doing great in terms of assisting people in difficult situations but do some people criticize and try to demotivate you and how do you tackle it and how do you take the criticism like that is the fuel which makes me run every criticism i take it as a challenge every rejection is a challenge for me if you reject me today okay tomorrow you will come and yeah that's the spirit, that's the spirit. Right. i'm right i'm right hmm. and our conscience, our sense, it tells whether we are right or wrong. It is not, we need no character certificate. We no, need no appreciation certificate, just we need to go. How do you describe the style of your work? I love name and fame to some extent. And this comes only you're working hard, sincerely. And once you get that name, you know, then you uh, climb a step. And from there, you don't want to come down. And from there, you zip off. And whatever I do, it is wholeheartedly, sincerely and I can see things beyond time. Mm -hmm. Like other day I just tweeted, why not the government of Telangana distribute fee, uh, free masks via public distribution system along with rice, sugar and masks. And yesterday in Times of India there was an article like in Charminar, Begum paid people were using wrong masks and they don't even know. So what the ministers and all they were supposed to do, I tweeted and yesterday it was the news. So many things that happened. How did you feel about it? That then again I tweet, I said, Deho, usin apne suna nahi, 10 days before mm -hmm. it has happened. So. Well, Professor Rao, I am so grateful for your generosity in spending time with us and speaking with us, with our viewers and also thank you for sharing your thoughts and insights. At the stroke of midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to the life and freedom. That was Nehru. Professor, motivational speaker, commentator, translator, news panelist, political analyst, economic expert, mountaineer, NGO advisor, entrepreneur, social activist, social worker, and army officer's wife. Professor Rekha Rao has been awarded as the best motivational speaker by Human Rights Commission. For me, the parameter of any success, any high GDP or whatever is the day when not a single person in a nation, they sleep out of starvation. Five trillion economy was once the talk of the government. How do you see that? These things, roti, kapra and makan, first we should go for that, then others think, right? With her great command over English, people get mesmerized. I know Hindi, English, Telugu, Bengali, Bhojpuri and Punjabi. And she has the honor to do live commentary on auspicious events like Independence Day, Republic Day, centenary celebrations of High Court Building of Telangana, centenary celebrations of Institute of Engineers, GBS Miss India Beautiful Event 2017 and many other red-letter days. The students who are in big schools, 
and students who are in budget schools and again the students who are in government schools, there is a lot of gap which has to be bridged. On the national and state television, she has oscillated the discussions with her meaningful and practical point of view. Being a social worker and activist, she is always ready to offer a helping hand to the society as and when required. Particularly during COVID-19, her services are commendable. So anything, if there is integrity, loyalty, sincerity and truth, things will be okay. Please join me in welcoming Professor Rekharao only on PMC English.